Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Jurors here. So as you guys probably know, there has been a new update that added this awesome train. Um, yes, yes. So I'm going to show you how to make a pretty dang secure base off of it that no one would expect. So you might be telling me right now, Jurors, does this move with it? Yes, it does. Um, so you might be saying, Jurors, why is there this giant line of stuff with the ground? <laughs> Well, that's because I built off the train, built a base at the end of this line of stuff, which you guys will see right here. And there's my little base. <laughs> uh, oh, oh no. Okay, that that's okay. We're just in single player right now. <laughs> okay, so yeah, pretty much what I did is I just built plates off, um, off the train. Until I got to a good distance where I saw that I could hide my base in that rock if I drove the train over there. So yeah, I just made a freeform base with a bunch of lockers. Um, and yeah. And so we're going to destroy this line of plates. I just wanted to, to show you guys how I got the base out there. And the train is indestructible, just so you guys know. Oh, didn't quite work all the way. Um, but yeah, so since the train is indestructible, like you could do this with any vehicle, just like create a base off it and drive it into a rock. But the problem is, is when the vehicle gets destroyed, the whole base gets destroyed with it. So this gets around that because the train is currently indestructible, can't be damaged with anything, period. At least anything that I've tried. I've tried a C4 and Hell's Fury. Um, if it can't be destroyed with C4 or Hellsphere, it can't be destroyed. That's just like usually a safe bet. This thing like indestructible? What the heck? <laughs> Alright, it doesn't matter too much. You guys get the point. Oh, there we go. Um, but yeah, so now we just have this floating base off in the middle of whatever. Uh, which moves with our vehicle. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. So yeah. And so we can just take the base. Plop it right into the mountain until we need it. And just... And then build a garage for the train. Um... Uh, so that people can't just steely wheel it and drive it around, which will reveal, which would reveal your base. Um, and then, yeah, when you need your base, you just uh, you just drive the train around a little bit, pull it out, pull your base out of the mountain, <laughs> bail out, and then go get your loot. <laughs> I don't know. I think this is a ridiculous, uh, <laughs> ridiculous base design. <laughs> Our base is like half in the ground right now. All right, and, but one thing to note is if if admins see that your base or, or this structure is built inside a rock, they're going to assume it's just a normal glitch base. Um, and so another alternative is you could build like a little shell base like this. Um, and since you can't put sentries off the train, so you can't put them in this base, you could toss some sentries in here and stuff, and a generator. Um, yeah, just like make a shell of a base, kind of a protective layer. And then all you have to do is go back to your train. Do, 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 do. And you're just going to want to drive your base into the shell base. Going kind of slow to make sure it lines up right. So I didn't line it completely right here. But, and bailing out of the train is the best way to stop it quickly because it doesn't really break very well, like a normal train, I guess. Um, so now our base is inside that, or inside this base, but part of it is sticking up, which is why I didn't stack the lockers too high because then they'd be sticking through the roof. So you just go in here, still the sentries protecting the outside here, and you walk on into the base. And so, as you can see, guys can see, if I had the locker stacked one higher, it would be going through the roof of the base. So I just stacked them one high. Um, so yeah, so they'd have to destroy the the shell base as well as the um, the regular base to get at your lockers. And you could make it like a really complex shell. You know, you can make it like a thirty by thirty with with your um, 
actual base sitting at the center of it. And that way, instead of having to like go through a hundred doors uh, to get to your loot room, you just drive the train a little bit and pull your loot room right out of your base. <laughs> so this is this is pretty goofy, guys. I don't know. I think it's a blast. <laughs> like, there's so much potential for what you could do with this. And you could definitely freak people out by having a base that moves around. Because you could have this base built, like, across the map, as far as I know. I don't think there's anything preventing you from doing that. It's gonna go into that hill now. Like, there's so many hills you could, like, uh, hide it in. And also, if someone sees a base cruising across the map at these speeds, they're gonna call hacks, they're gonna be freaking out. They're gonna have no idea what's going on. Like, look at our base hooking along the map. Oh my gosh. And another thing to note is that if you're going from loot spot to loot spot, like let's say you're going to like um, Zavad and Tunnel and Military Base, uh, and like you want to go to Moscow too or whatever, you can legitimately drive your base over to these loot spots, store stuff in it, and drive off. Like that is amazing to me. <laughs> but yeah, like this is... I don't know. This is the funniest base design ever. Because also, guys, not only is it a base that you can hide and stuff, um, and it's a base that's attached to an indestructible car, but also your base is the fastest object in the game. Because I believe the train is the fastest mode of transportation. It gets up to like 130 miles per hour or something like that, which I think is tied for uh, the fastest car or something like that. Um, but yeah, so your base is the fastest object in the game, guys. <laughs> And it's flying through the air. And, like, you want to take it one step farther? Make a sky base attached to the train. That'd be intense. <laughs> a loaf just goes right into the mountain. <laughs> Pops right back out. Like, I feel like I'm watching Aladdin or something. Like, what is this? <laughs> but yeah, guys, it's all about getting control of the train in order to be able to build this thing. Uh, and you're definitely going to want to prevent the train from getting stolen, because as you can see, they could just drive around with your base attached to it. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. <laughs> train base, pretty cool. And just to demonstrate, so it's at 82 health, but it can't be damaged. Uh, I don't know if it can be repaired. Low torch, 76... All right, let's check it out. Okay, you can't actually repair it. Now maybe we can damage it. Nope. All right, well, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, see you in my videos and streams. And also, guys, I do have two servers currently. If you guys want to play on them, you're more than welcome to. Um, I have a vanilla... Russia map, which, hey guys, grab that train, make that train base. Uh, then I also have a, um, a Washington kit PVP server. So the IP imports for both those will be in the description. And yeah, see you guys in my videos and streams. Bye-bye.